All right, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, my brother, Mason, and myself are gonna be sturgeon fishing. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can try to catch some sturgeon. And then we're also gonna be doing some bass fishing while we have light out here. So as soon as the sun gets down, we'll just strictly be sturgeon fishing. And we only have one rod for that. But as of right now, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can catch some bass as well as sturgeon fish. So we're gonna go ahead and cast out the rod and then see if we get some bass while that's just sitting out there. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the uh, sturgeon rod cast out right here right now my brother's bass fishing and i'm about to go bass fish as well so let's see if we can catch some bass while we wait for a sturgeon or two all right you guys we're running across the water right now our rod just got a big old bite yep yep Ugh. the sturgeon rod oh boy okay you guys i think it's off now but i came over here and that rod was just banging down so i sure ran Mason, it's off. I think I had a big old bite though, so I'm gonna go ahead and reel that in now. But yeah, it was, it was a bite. So Mason's right there fishing now, and we went ahead and moved the uh, sturgeon rod a little bit closer to where we were bass fishing, just because uh, I don't feel like running across that little river again or whatever, that little inlet. We moved it right here, so if there's any fish, then yeah, we'll know. All right, so we went ahead and moved the uh, sturgeon rod back over here just because it was kind of rocky over there but yeah it's still drifting a lot right now so i don't know how to fix that I, we might just have to move spots here in a bit we are right up next to the current but yeah as for right now we found a little crawfish under a rock big old crawfish put your finger in there no nah. okay <laughs> you know we're just lifting up rocks around here and we found them so First yeah we're just waiting for a for a sturgeon right now all right, guys, so we didn't get anything over here. No bass, no uh, sturgeon. So we're going to go ahead and move spots now. And yeah, you'll see the next spot. All right, guys, we're all here set up at the new spot. As you can see, we got the uh, sturgeon rod sitting right over there. And then we got my brother right here, bass fishing. So yeah, we'll keep you guys updated on what happens. But yeah, for now, we're at the new spot. Yeah, so a little update. So somebody made a campfire right here, like a fire pit. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get like a fire going here once it gets dark and cold. So we gathered up a bunch of like brush and wood or whatever all right guys so they got him in and they're saying that he's around eight foot is what they think it is but i guess we're gonna wait and see if they actually measure it and see how big it actually is but it looks like a pretty big fish from here yeah still nothing on our rods still waiting for that so if they say what he actually is like that fish i'll let you guys know all right guys so i don't know how much you can see right now but just another update um haven't caught much have the rod out right there well, when I say I haven't come. All right, guys, I don't know why the camera keeps turning off, but I keep seeing like battery low powering off, but the battery's at like. All right, guys, so I switched from the GoPro to my phone because the GoPro's being weird. It keeps saying it's dead. Yeah, Mason here. And that light is really bright, so I'm just shut them. Yeah. There you guys go. Mason caught a little largemouth bass out of this place, so. Yeah, you wanna get a picture with that guy? Sure. She's a little creature bait. Here you go. <laughs> Grab my phone here. Turn off your light real fast. Hey, can you hold it? Yeah, I'll hold your I'll turn on my light. Oh, actually, I don't even need it. You can still see. Yeah. There you guys go. Nice little largemouth bass. All right, yeah. you can go ahead and throw them back now if you want. Woohoo! So, yeah, at least we're not getting skunked here. Now uh, we caught a fish, so. Yeah, there it goes. Oh. Oh. He's crazy. There he goes. There he goes. All right, here you go. You can have your rod back. All right, I'm gonna keep, keep fishing. I'm gonna go figure out which one the GoPro. So okay, hopefully you guys don't see any more video from this camera. So... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back over there. All right, guys. So I went up. At, I went ahead and uh, changed the battery, even though it said my camera was at 50 percent on the actual thing. So that's weird. But I changed the battery, as you saw on my phone. Mason caught a bass. He's over there right now. Probably can't see him because it's so dark. But I'm gonna go ahead and like set up a light on this camera, and we're gonna get a fire going here soon. And it's gonna be real nice, but we'll be able to see like the light after I set up the camera on the GoPro or whatever Or the light I mean, but yeah, uh, still zero sturgeon. Um, the uh, sturgeon rod keeps rolling Like the weight on it. So that's not good. We have six ounces on and it's still rolling. So Yeah, we're just gonna try to see if we can find a spot where it doesn't roll It's probably not gonna happen, but if we do find that spot, we'll be able to catch a sturgeon. So let's hope that we can do that All right guys, so we got a fire going as you can see right here we got a fire going so we're just kind of warming up um but yeah still nothing on the sturgeon rod 
This might not, might not be the spot, but there's not really much else we can do at this point. So, I mean, we could move, but at the same time, we just made a fire, so why would we? Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna wait, see what happens, and yeah. All right, guys, once again, we move spots. And let me just say right now, if we don't catch fish at this spot, then you guys won't be seeing this video, so I don't even know why I'm talking. So if you're seeing this right now, then it probably means that we caught a fish here, so just stay tuned. But the rod is right there, set up. I don't know if you can see it. But the rod is set up right there. I'm gonna see if it's right next to that big rock. And yeah, we're gonna see if we can pull out a last, last ditch effort and catch a singular fish. I don't even care, it can be like a three foot surge and I'm still making a video, but yeah. You guys will see, sling if we catch fish. Mason, that's recording. Okay, Mason. No, actually, shine the light at me. Shine the light at me. Okay. Guys, 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 guys. we have a big surgeon on here. A big I one. We were snagged. We were actually snagged, and then all of a sudden this thing started running. It's actually a fish race. Look, look, see, see. I think you've oh seen. my, oh my gosh. You see, Mason. Is a, I don't even have a comment on this. Like, oh my gosh. Mason. This is our we last. Snagged. This is our last try. This is our last spot that we were trying. Grab that bell off, Mason. Grab that bell off. Okay. Um, you probably won't be able to see this. Oh my. Hurry, hurry, grab it, grab it, grab it. He's running so far, grab it, grab it, grab it. There's no way. Oh, it's a big one, Mason. <laughs> no He's running, he's running so far. Like, oh my So, gosh. Taylor is currently oh. fighting like, the biggest, the biggest sturgeon that we could possibly ask for. Oh, he's So, running. we got oh, really lucky running. here. Mason, look at this reel. Remember how, t how I told you it was like the hardest reel to pull? Yeah. Look at look at how much he's pulling. Anyway. You know, bring the camera over here. Bring the camera over here. I need him to stop running. He's running too much. Alright. Use the light on the use the big light to shine at me. So, so, let's scoot I'm gonna scoot this back a little bit. So Yeah. Okay. So. Well, Mason, I'm pulling him in right now. He's he's tired. Okay. He's tired. I'd like to see this. We haven't. No, we haven't caught a single surgeon all night. Yeah. It's crazy. Let me fill this up a little more. He doesn't want to come in though. Oh, you'll get him in. Keep going. Ugh. It's coming, isn't it? Slowly. And every time you pull, it's coming in. No, I actually thought we were snagged because we couldn't get it unsnagged. Yeah, it's and then it started running. So as soon as you started whipping it like that, it started running. I thought you were joking at first. No, I wouldn't be joking about a sturgeon. I'm slowly working them in here, guys. Is your tension at the right level? Yeah, it's it's maximum tension. You want it at max? Yeah, because yeah, that's not gonna break it. off. We tried to break it off. I know. You're not running anywhere, big boy. Here's the... Yeah. Hey guys, can't believe that we actually just hooked up to Big Surgeon, because we were literally talking about going to IHOP. We are like, yeah, let's pack up, get out here and go to IHOP, because we're not catching crap I've out I've never here. eaten some IHOP, I yeah. really want some. Yeah, so we were like, there's no point staying out here if we're not catching anything. Yeah, I got but, it. But, then we hooked up to this monster, so, actually he might not even be too big, he's kind of like wearing out really easy. Like, most of the bigger ones don't tire out this fast. But then again, too, I don't know because it was snagged, so I have no idea. What are the chances of catfish? There's no way this is a catfish. This <laughs> is like a 50 pound flathead catfish or something. That would be nice, though. It's coming in here, silly. Huh. Oh, he's trying to pull, he's trying to pull. Oh. Ah! There he goes. Give him my gloves, give him my gloves. Okay. Oh, okay. Shoot, I almost dropped my rod. Look at him running. Look at him. Hold the rod up. Yeah, just hold the rod. Hold your hand right there. Hold your hand right there. Did you see how much he's running? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Start running. Start running on your. your uh, yeah, yeah. Start running. Start running. Don't let him pop. You can't reel. Here. Take back over. Okay, go back to camera, man. Go back to camera. Yeah, he's getting us still there, still there. Oh my gosh, Mason, use that big light at the bottom of the camera. Okay, okay give it a try. Open it up to the big setting. 
You guys, do you see this rod right here? Do you see this rod? Bending crazy. I thought he was done fighting. I guess he's not done. Maybe it is a big one. Mm -hmm. could, I, I think he might be like a six footer. Six foot? Maybe. Take your guess. Me? Yeah. I'm gonna guess seven and a half. I mean, I've never really caught a surgeon before since so seven and a half ago. Pretty decent guess. Yeah. I mean, it was a seven and a half. Give me a second. I'm gonna have you come take over. Um. You want a reel? I'm gonna throw my gloves on. Man. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna okay. be right back. He's tiring me out. I'm scared that I'm gonna lose it though. If you won't lose it, I'll help you. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, he is strong though. I don't know how big he is, but he's strong. That's what I'll tell you. And then remember, lift up. As soon as you lift up, start cranking down, crank down, crank down. Real down, real down. Okay, you ready? Now crank, lift up. Now crank down, crank down. Yep, like that. I'm gonna help you lift up. Lift up. Do you want me to keep my thumb on the thing while I lift up? No. Really? Crank down, crank down. Okay, keep doing that. Do not drop the rod. Keep doing that. I'm gonna get the camera situated on a better angle. I don't know how much of this you can see because it's really dark out here. So I'm sorry if you guys can't see much, but I'm trying oh my to. God. Is he big? Strong? Oh yeah. It's crazy. Okay, just don't let him go. I hope you guys can somewhat see him fighting the surgeon. All right, Mason, you ready for me to take a shift again? Yeah. All right. Make sure that camera can see us. Okay, let go, let go. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, no, he's running again. Yeah, he's running. Mm. He's running. Doesn't seem to like you, Taylor. Oh, he's tired, he's tired. Oh, no, he's not, no, he's not. Okay, you want my help? No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, he's giving up a little bit. He's giving me some line back. Yep, yep. You're sticking into the sand with the end of the rod. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It makes it more stable. He's coming, he's tired now. Yeah, he's tiring out, but still. He seems... Oh! Oh, he's coming in. We're making some ground on him. Oh. He just did one good tug right there. How long does it usually take to bring them in? Uh, it depends on how big they are. Me and Cooper fought one for 45 minutes. Oh. And how, then, how big did that one end up being? Oh, oh, there he is, there he is. Oh. He's not huge. Yeah, he's not huge. He's probably around like six, five to six feet. All right. He's absolutely screaming out line right now, though. He's on a good run. He's on a good run. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, he's tiring back out. He's tiring back out. Here, here we go. Oh, nope, nope, he's still pulling. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. Yeah, I don't know what you guys could see, but this rod is like 12 feet long. So it makes it really nice because I can like sit back on the rod itself to help pull it up because this guy, even though he might not be the biggest, he's still really strong. Yeah, he's still really strong. Big fish. He's coming bro. in here, Mason. What? He's trying to pull. So oh, there he is, there he is. I'm starting to like splash up. I'd call this a successful night. Oh, here he is, guys. Here he is. Oh, he's running, he's running, he's running. You want me to try and get the fish? What? You want me to try and get the fish on camera? Uh, yeah, use the camera. I don't know. You guys probably can't see that well, I guess. Ugh. Here he is, here he is. He's running again. Oh. No, wait, he's, right. he's pretty decent. He's pretty decent. Right there. I don't know how much you guys can see. Oh, he's oh, in. Yeah, no, he's pretty decent. That's Here, a big fish. Try the camera at him. Oh, yeah, you guys. I don't know. I, don't, I can't he's see He's probably him. like a five or a six. Okay, set, get ready to set the camera down because I'm going to go out there and flip him. Okay. Because once you flip him, they go kind of nuts. You want me to grab the... Yeah, yeah, set the camera down. Put the light on the camera. Like that, yeah, yeah. Okay, can the camera see? Here you go. I don't know. I don't Kid, know. Okay, here, hold this. Just hold it. Turn the light down a little bit, you guys. Oh, that's a big fish. No, he's pretty good. I'm gonna run out there real fast. He's trying to pull away again. Them. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, he's pretty big. Oh, Mason. Oh, told you. What did I say? What do you? What did I say? 
No, he's not done yet. And there we go. Am I allowed to touch the... flip. Hang on. There we go, Mason. How big is that? He's a pretty good one. Look, and because their barbell sucks, it came right out. Okay, okay grab this. the camera. Bring the camera out here real fast. I'm going to set this against the rock. Yeah, yeah set it down. Just set it down. Set it on the rock. No way. Look at that beauty of a fish, you guys. Like that tail. Head, it's pretty, it's a pretty big size fish. I mean, I'm still gonna give him what? What do you think this is, Mason? How I don't know now. Size? I think a little smaller. Six, little smaller. six and a half, maybe. Uh, yeah, I still, I'm still sticking to my six. Here, so to set the camera down, I'm gonna grab the tape measure okay. and phone. And I need you to hold on his mouth, because he is, they do go limp once we flip him over, and we don't want to keep him here for too long like this, because obviously we don't want to hurt him. We want to get him right back where he came from. Okay. So come here, Mason. It'll be one second. Let me take off my gloves. Okay, take off your gloves. Roll up your sleeves. Hurry up. We don't, we're, we're trying to get this guy out of here, so we don't. Uh, take too long. They got teeth? They don't have teeth. Look, really gummy left. Here you go. Just grab right there. Yep. Uh, yep. Just hold on. Just feeling. Mason, grab it with your full fish. Let me grab the uh, tape measure real fast, guys. That's a big fish. Yes, it is. So, tape measure. Man. Right That's crazy. Okay. I have the tape measure here. And yeah, you guys can see that full thing. Okay. Let me just grab the tape measure. And Mason, you're gonna hold this tape measure on the tip of his nose, okay? Okay. So, with, yeah, with this hand, hold his mouth. And then with the other hand, put this on the tip of his nose. It's starting to tilt. Yeah, I know, I know, just hurry. Did you put it on the tip of his nose? Yeah. Okay, let me bring it to the back of his tail. The very back corner back here. Guess what he is, Mason? Uh, six and a half. Six, seven and a quarter. So yeah, pretty About much. Six and a half, I knew it. Six and a half. Well, a little, a little bit more, right? Crazy. Yeah. Okay, you want to take over? Uh, yeah, let me get a picture of you with it real, real fast. Okay. You want me to get a photo of you? Yeah, come get a photo of me. Here, he's moving a little bit. Okay. He's moving. Right, he's, he's ready to go. Here, grab, grab this. Grab the, my phone and the camera. Phone. All right, grab my phone and the light. I'm gonna... Swap around real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, here he goes, guys. We're gonna let him go now. Got a few pictures. Both of us got some pictures of him. Oh yeah, there he goes. Crazy. Beautiful fish. Swing right back down where we caught him. All right, well guys, you probably will see the video. Yep, we're making a video now, but um, so here's a little story because I'll just tell you like how it happened because obviously you guys didn't see us like hook the fish or whatever. So we had the the rock or the the rod up against the rock over here so there's a big old rock right there by the ro where the rod is yeah you can see that but no we had it against the rock and we were talking we were like you know maybe it's time to go you know let's just go get some ihop like i said it's pretty oh, i want some ihop still yeah we're still going ihop obviously but we're like it's pretty late out here let's get out of here let's go home um and then i go to reel in the rod right because i'm like we're done and i'm like dang it snag so i'm yanking 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 we're sitting there for a solid like five minutes trying to get it like unsnagged or whatever and then all of a sudden like I'm like, wait a minute, this snag started pulling. But like, I swear it was a snag at first because like I was pulling as hard as I can and it wasn't like pulling out line or anything, but it wasn't like coming undone. So like, that was pretty crazy because all of a sudden it started running. I was like, uh, okay, that's fine. And then we got that guy. So as you guys saw, pretty easy uh, unhooking, not not easy to catch. He was pretty, had a pretty good fight in him. Six, what was what it? Up? Six, seven? Yeah, six all right, and a half. Six, six, yeah. seven, six and a half. It's perfect. Good Been fish. Been out here for what? Like yeah probably a long time yeah it's been a long time and we're that's why we're getting ready to leave because we just hadn't gotten a single surgeon bite all night and then we caught that guy so um yeah let's we're gonna stay out here what time is it mason um it's currently 9 43 9 43 okay so that was like a 15 10, 10 minute fight i mean um yeah we're gonna stay out here for maybe 10 more minutes if we catch another fish but yeah um let's get back out in the water all right so i think i know i now know what happened as i was getting ready to go like rebate this up and cast it out I realized that our slider that the weight was connected to on the uh, lighter line has completely broken off. There's just a knot left, that's all. So I think what actually happened was he might have picked this up, he probably picked up the bait, and then he got the the weight stuck in a rock, or it was vice versa, the weight got stuck in a rock, and he saw the bait there and took it, and then the weight broke off, and that's when I started feeling a pull. I don't know, one of the two, but yeah, that's that's what happened. There's no line with a weight on there, which there was a six ounce on there. Six ounce on there. Yeah, we so, lost. 
lost all our others. Yeah. Um. Good fish, though. We're going to cast out, maybe stay 10 more minutes. All right, guys. So we're just going to go ahead and reel this in now. It's been about, like, 15, 20 minutes, and we got to get going here soon. But that one fish was definitely still worth it. So unless we have another fish on here, I mean, that obviously, that's going to be the only surgeon we caught. But still, a six foot seven surgeon is not bad. And um, yeah, it made it made my day like worth it, or it made the video worth it, I should say, and my day, I guess. But and I'm snagged again. Great. Maybe there will be another fish like last time. Oh, never mind. We're snagged. We're good. Okay. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was uh, not the most fish we've caught in the video before. Just the two, the one small bass and the It was surgeon. not that small. Okay, my bad. But still, only two fish. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.